In the fleeting world of fame and fortune, some stars shine brightly, but briefly, leaving behind a legacy that echoes through time. Join us in today's video as we explore the lives, the talent, and the untold stories of those luminaries who shone brightly but faded away too soon. Joffrey Gao Yusheng On November 27, 2019, the sudden passing of Taiwanese actor Godfrey Gao at the young age of 35 while filming the show, Chase Me deeply saddened millions of his fans. His ultimately death struck a chord with many, especially considering his growing popularity following his role in the romantic drama Beautiful Li Chuan. With his towering height and skilled acting in the series, he effortlessly embodied the idealized boyfriend for numerous viewers. However, acting was not Gao's initial career choice. His dream had always been to become a professional basketball player, due to his 6.3 feet height. Fate, however, had a different path in store for him. After 12 years in the entertainment industry, he finally found his breakthrough in Beautiful Luchuan. Rapidly becoming a household name in mainline China, Gao was invited to participate in a well-known variety show that tragically marked the end of his life. Chase Me, renowned for its grueling physical challenges and breathtaking obstacle courses, pushed celebrities to the limits. In 2019, after enduring 17 hours of relentless filming and intense running, Gao collapsed. Unfortunately, a lack of preparedness for such emergencies led to delays in resuscitation efforts, and Gao passed away. Many pondered the what-ifs. Would Gao still be alive if he had pursued his dream of becoming a basketball player instead? Wang Hongsheng On September 6, 2020, Taiwan was left reeling by the sudden and tragic passing of Huang Hongsheng at the tender age of 36. Autopsy report came later showing Huang died of aortic dissection. Being alone at home, he went unnoticed, and by the time he was discovered, it was too late for any life-saving interventions. The news came as a shock to fans, friends, and family who had seen him active and, well, just a day before, sharing a photo of his beloved dog on social media. Initially groomed by his father for a career in golf, Huang Hongsheng followed his passion for acting, a decision that led him to prominence. Taking on the stage named Shang Ku, from one of his movie roles, his acting prowess shone through, propelling him to fame with roles in iconic series like Mysterious Incredible Terminator and Love You, so the defying his reputation in Taiwan's entertainment industry. Despite his acting success, he also released several successful music albums and singles. Furthermore, he showcased his versatility by hosting the popular Taiwanese entertainment show, 100% Entertainment. Yet all turned into painful memories for his loved ones, following Huang's abrupt death without even the last word. Coco Lee It is widely known that she holds the distinction of being the first and only Chinese singer to grace the Oscar stage. However, few were privy to her concealed disability while Coco captivated audiences with her singing and dancing talents. Afflicted with a defect in her left leg from birth, she underwent an unsuccessful surgery at the tenor age of two, leading to the implantation of a steel plate for stability. Despite silently enduring the pain, this left her heavily reliant on her unaffected right foot during her mesmerizing performances. In 2022, an old injury resurfaced during a dance rehearsal, necessitating surgical intervention the following year. Unfortunately, her road to recovery was fraught with obstacles. Simultaneously, her marriage to Bruce, initially hailed as one of the grandest weddings in Hong Kong, teetered on the brink due to his repeated infidelities. The intersection of physical struggles and emotional turmoil culminated tragically on July 2, 2023, when she took her own life at home. Despite the diligent efforts of the medical team and extensive care, Coco passed on three days later, aged 48. Clark Chan Manan On July 13, 2024, Hong Kong television host Clark Chan Manan, known by his stage name Koba, passed away at the age of 29 after a six-month battle with Ewing sarcoma, a rare form of spinal cancer. His name might be new to many, as it was not long before Koba had become part of the Hong Kong-based broadcaster TVB's Love Is, a talk show designed 
to offer romantic guidance for young audiences. Kaba's life was marked by adversity from an early age, abandoned by his father as a child and facing challenges due to a lack of familial guidance. Despite these hardships, he persevered, graduating from college and securing a job as a host, only to be struck by a rare cancer diagnosis. The rapid progression of the disease exacerbated the financial strain of his already struggling family, leading him to rely on the generosity of kind-hearted donors for additional medical care. In his final public message, he candidly shared the excruciating pain he endured during his last weeks, revealing the extent of the cancer spread to various parts of his body. Tragically, his young life was cut short within nine months of his initial diagnosis. Serena Liojun On the evening of March 22, 2020, Taiwan's beloved Latin dancer Liu Chen passed away, leaving behind her four-year-old daughter and grieving family. Before this, Liu Chen had always been a familiar face to audiences through her captivating performances on the show Kang Si Coming, where she danced alongside Di Shu, engaging in witty banter and playful arguments that brought joy to many. Her graceful standard dance moves and radiant demeanor never failed to mesmerize viewers. Liu Zhen's journey into the world of dance began in her childhood. Through unwavering determination and participation in numerous competitions, she clinched several Latin dance championships in Taiwan. She represented Taipei on the global stage, securing the Starball Modern Dance Championship multiple times. Tragically, Liu Zhen's flourishing career was abruptly halted when the routine checkup for her daughter revealed an unforeseen heart condition for herself. What's worse, subsequent surgery led to complications including a sudden cardiac arrest and a coma. Despite efforts to sustain her with medical devices while awaiting a heart transplant, her condition remained critical. On March 22, aged 44, Leo stopped breathing. Leo Thun Shortly before the conclusion of Love Endures, starring Yang Ji, the entertainment industry was struck by tragedy as one of the cast members, Leo Thun died from heart attack at the young age of 25. A graduate of the performance department at the Beijing Film Academy, Liu Feng shared his academic journey with Guan Shaotong. Following his successful graduation, he undertook an internship at the Beijing People's Art Theater for a year, showcasing his talent in renowned productions like The Best House in the World and Family Portrait. His early career was marked by a modest portfolio, he made notable appearances in dramas such as Lost Track of Time and Back from the Brink. A day before his passing, Leo had just shared an update disclosing his grueling 20-hour workday. Subsequently, news of his sudden demise shook the industry. It is said the excessive exercise at the gym after long hours of working might have caused cardiac arrest, which led to his tragic and sudden death. Medical investigations later confirmed that the cause of his passing was a heart attack, triggered by strenuous physical activity. Kitty Xu Ting on September 7, 2016, the 26-year-old actress Xu Ting exhaled her last breath and bid farewell to the world. Ironically, her death, a sad loss to those who truly cared about her, might be regarded as a great relief to Xu Ting herself. In 2012, after enduring a two-year struggle in Beijing, Xu Ting's breakthrough arrived as she secured a role as Yang Zi's best friend in the acclaimed TV series Dad Home. However, much of the money she earned eventually went to supporting her family. Since leaving home for university, Xu Ting had tirelessly shouldered her financial burdens of her entire family, funding her brother's education, covering rent, settling her parents' debts, buying a new house for her parents, buying a new house for her younger brother. This relentless dedication to her family persisted until her lymphoma diagnosis. Just as what she summarized in her final note, it seems like I have never lived for myself in these 26 years. Many attribute Xu Ting's untimely passing to her parents' favoritism towards the son, their persistent financial demands, and their decision to forego chemotherapy upon learning of her cancer diagnosis, opting instead for various traditional Chinese medical treatments. The full truth behind these choices may only be known to them. Xu Ting expressed, I believed in Buddhism. I don't blame anyone, nor I do a question why good people do not receive good returns. All of this is my fate. In honor of this compassionate and gentle soul, let us grant her final wish by sharing her beautiful photos one last time. Kindly refer to her as 
Xu Xiaoting. Bruce Lee. The world was profoundly shaken by the news of the death of kung fu legend Bruce Lee on July 20, 1973. To this day, the circumstances surrounding his passing remain shrouded in mystery. Widely revered as martial arts master, a kung fu movie icon, and a philosophical sage of martial arts world, Bruce Lee's legacy endures through the art of philosophy he crafted, Jeet Kune Do. His prowess in Jeet Kune Do allowed him to unleash nine punches in a single second and execute a kick in just one sixth of a second, solidifying his status as one of the most iconic figures in martial arts history. Through his profound grasp of kung fu and his ventures into filmmaking, he transcended cultural boundaries, breaking into Hollywood and captivating audiences worldwide with his lightning-fast, precise strikes that epitomize the essence of kung fu, a quintessential facet of Chinese heritage. His classic films like *The Way of the Dragon*, *Enter the Dragon*, and *Fist of Fury* revolutionized the action genre by introducing innovative techniques such as rapid editing and elaborate martial arts choreography. Setting new standards in modern action cinema. Tragically, on the fateful day of July 20, 1973, while discussing the script of *Game of Death* at actress Betty Ting Pei's residence, Bruce Lee succumbed to a sudden headache. After taking a painkiller, he never regained consciousness, passing away at the age of 33. Adding to the family's sorrow, two decades later, Bruce Lee's son Brandon Lee, an emerging martial arts talent poised for Hollywood stardom. Met a tragic end when he was accidentally struck by a real bullet discharged from a prop gun during the filming of a scene for the movie *The Crow*, tragically losing his life at the age of 28. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Chinese Star Buzz. If you have any thoughts to share, would love to hear from you in the comment section below. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more content. Stay connected for upcoming updates, and we can't wait to see you in the next video.